Now then people, it's Joe Leeds TV and it is your Chef Wednesday preview. It's another massive game. They keep coming thick and fast. Um, you know, there's only five games left to go now. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, and they're, so, they're in such quick succession. Obviously, we've got Chef Wednesday, Saturday. Then on the Friday, you know, we're, we're at home to Wigan. And then we're away to Brentford, you know, over the Easter period. It's coming, you know, it's crunch time and it'll be over before we know it. So let's enjoy it and look forward to these big games that are left. I know it's hard to do. I know we're all nervous, but, you know, I'm so excited for Saturday and I just want it to be Saturday now, you know. Um, but massive, massive game. Even in the context, even if you look at last night's fixtures, obviously it couldn't have gone much better, really. Um, if Birmingham win, obviously it's perfect. But you're happy, you know, it's back in our hands. We're second in the league. Um, you know, Blades, they, they drew away to Birmingham, so well done, Gary Monk. <laughs> and obviously Norwich as well. Norwich lost against Reading. There are, they are only six points ahead. Don't get me wrong, there's 15 to play for. Do I still think they're probably going to go up as champions? Yes. But they have a difficult fixture away at Wigan. When I say that, you might laugh, but listen, Wigan are very good at home. Wigan are fighting for their lives. When we did our... Um, championship running myself and Connor I actually had Wigan winning the game and I know you might laugh at me any Norwich fans that are winning but listen who'd have thought you'd have you know drew uh, at Red against Reading yesterday you know that um, late goal by Reading to, to Pippias and make it two all so anything can happen and it is the championship um, good performance from, from ourselves last time out obviously we went uh, away to Preston uh, not an easy place to go um, they, they'd given Sheffield United a good game um, on the Saturday and by all accounts deserved more from the game um, but listen we we went out 2-0 winners uh, nice to see Patrick Bamford back on the score sheet I said in my pre-match I was thinking maybe it's time we brought Roof back in I was wrong in BLs we trust listen I've called him out before on the Shackleton uh, Alien Shackleton situation how wrong I was I called him out on the Alioski thing how wrong I was Admittedly, I, Alioski's playing in a different position from when he was out left, left wing, but he, he still tends to play in there. But listen, that's why Biel's is a manager and I'm sat in my garage, <laughs> do you know? Um, but listen, he's also come out in the press conference today and said it's going to be the same lineup. Do we expect anything less? No, we we, we always think it's... Uh, he's, all, he's very loyal. That's one thing you have to say, he's very loyal. So you're looking at Kiko, uh, right-back Aileen, centre-backs Cooper, Janssen, left-back Alioski, KP. It's evident, though, that... Um, you know, at times, Chef Wednesday under Bruce do like to play with a two, so will we see KP drop back in? And will it be a three at times? I think at Birmingham it didn't really work, if I'm being totally honest. So um, maybe let's not go that way. But again, Biel's is the man he knows. Obviously, we'll have Pablo Click, Roberts, um, and out on the left, Jack Harrison. And then leading the line will be Patrick Bamford. But we all know we have a strong bench as well. Will we see Clark back there? Will we see Matthias Borges? He travelled with the, with the club. Um, will Izzy Brown be there? Probably not. But I know Stevens. Obviously, Jordan Stevens made the bench on Saturday, on Tuesday. Sorry. So, you know, there might be changes on the bench, but it's all good because earlier on in the season, but yeah, we had uh, <laughs> we had fourteen year olds at times on that bench. So it's nice to uh, it's nice to see an almost fully fit squad at last. Obviously, except Barry Douglas. Um, now, normally, what I would like to do is obviously go back and I look at the previous fixture. I like to watch the highlights again just to jog my memory. I like to look at the lineups. I haven't done that this time, and the reason being is because Chef Wednesday now are a totally different animal under Steve Bruce. I mean, I'll touch on, on why later on, but if we just go back to that last game, obviously how we never won that last game is beyond me. Um, I mean, Adam Reach scored an absolute wonder fluke um, that, you know, nine times out of ten, it's not going in the back of the net. Probably 99 times out of 100, do you know what I mean? Um, and obviously, Matthias Click gets on the score sheet for us. We also discovered in that in that match that Barry Douglas cannot head a ball towards goal. Um, <clears throat> but listen... Back to Chef Wednesday and the transformation under Bruce and how difficult a game this is going to be. It's never easy against Chef Wednesday, regardless if we're home or away, it's never easy against them. But just to put it into context, before Steve Bruce came in the door, Chef Wednesday had 24 points in 21 games. Since Steve Bruce has come in, in 13 games they have 24 points. So already, in a fraction of the games that was played prior to him coming in, he's already amassed the same amount of points. They've only lost one once under Bruce, which came at home against Villa, I believe. 
um, last Saturday and you're thinking, right, okay, is it a nice time now to be playing Chef Wednesday? They finally had a loss. No, Tuesday night they play at home against Forest and they batter them 3-0, which is no mean feat. So, you know, they're a totally different animal. And, and, and yes, they lost to Villa, but Villa are a different animal now as well. Dean Smith's really got them playing. Jack Grealish is playing. Um, and when Jack Grealish plays well, as Connor always tells us, Villa play well and and there's a point in that so the fact that they've lost to Villa you can't really take that much from that um, but listen one loss since he's come in the door 24 points in 13 games the same that the previous manager had got in just 20, in, in, in 21 games um, so it's going to be very very difficult and in that time also they've had 8 clean sheets in 13 games it's going to be a Massive game and a very, very tough game. Be under no illusions. It's going to be tough. Coupled with the fact that we have only won one of the last five against Chef, uh, Chef Wednesday at home. Um, and we've only got two clean sheets in our last 14 games against them. So it's going to be tough and we need to be on it. We need to be on it. You know... If we go back to the Preston, uh, the the first half at the Preston game, a lot of people said we, you know, we'd done really well. And on reflection, after the Millwall, yes, we had on uh, against Birmingham as well. Yes, we'd improved, but it still wasn't good enough. Yes, we can easily get to the final third. That's never been an issue for me. It's it's just playing that right ball, moving it a little bit quicker. That seems to be off at the minute. And again, Chef Wednesday, we need to be on it. You know, they're absolutely flying at the moment under Bruce, and they've got an they've got a, an outside chance at the playoffs. So regardless of if, you know, the Owls and the Blades absolutely hate each other, you can't tell me they're not going to want to win this game because they've got an outside chance of the playoffs. Um, so taking all that into consideration, you know, it's going to be very, very difficult. I know I keep repeating myself, but it, it's, it is going to be hard and I do fancy both teams to score. Head, I'm thinking draw. <laughs> I, I do think draw, um, but, but I am going to stick my neck out and say that Leeds are going to win the game 2-1, you know, just because of the context and, and, and leave with my heart a little bit, just because of the context of the game, we're at home, it's going to be a packed house, it's later on in the evening, you know, Sheffield United have got Millwall, no easy feat, I know Blades are at home, but they haven't been playing great of late, um, and then I think the following day Norwich are, are, are away at Wigan, um, so, so it's a huge game, a huge game, and... and it's back in our hands now. So if we can win this, you know, it's one step closer, only four after this. But we, we cannot take Chef Wednesday lightly. I don't think any of us would anyway. But I'd much prefer to play the Chef Wednesday under the previous manager than this new look Chef Wednesday under Steve Bruce. Um, but yeah, I'm going to lead with my, he uh, my heart sorry, and say 2-1. I do think Chef Wednesday might score first and early. Fingers crossed I'm, I'm wrong. But I've just got this intuition. But I still fancy us to get something out of the game. You can't afford to say, oh, would you take a point earlier on in the season? You might, and we're at home. You might think what you're talking about, Joe. But I just think Chef Wednesday are a different animal at the moment. But listen, if we're on it, then we're on it. And we can put any team away in this league. Um, so let's hope that is the case. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you, rest the, you watch the rest of the boys' preview. Um, a little bit pessimistic from me for a change, maybe. But I'm just trying to... I'm just looking at, at, at the way they've transformed under Bruce and I'm just a little bit nervous. But I'd much rather be here, as Oscar always tells us, I'd much rather be fighting for the top two than be languishing in mid-table. So it's nice to have them nerves. It's nice to have that little bit of tension. But I'm rambling now, so I will say bye. Make sure you check out the boys' previews as well. And uh, like I say, if you come see us on Saturday, make sure you come and say hi. Peace out, people. Matching on together. Leeds, leads, leads. It's our time.